Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the sea glass bracelet. And this bracelet is using beads from my collaboration with Eureka Crystal Beads, the Seaside Dreams collection. Now you can use any beads you like, of course. I'll link the collection down below in the description box if you'd like to take a look at it. So my inspiration here is obviously sea glass. And here it's made with triangle beads. So these are Toho triangles. Look at sparkly that is. I love those triangle beads. Look at that. The silver lined ones are so pretty. And I embellished the top. I kind of wanted it to look like sea plants. It was, you know, very um, oceany sea, seaweed, you know, you know <laughs> that kind of thing. So that was my inspiration for this. I've got a button on one end, and I've got this um, interesting sort of rectangular loop on the other end. So a very fun, very easy to make, pretty quick. So I'm going to clear this off, get a materials list going, and we'll get started on this bracelet. Let's get a materials list going. So you need some triangle beads. I'm using a Toho 11-0 triangle in two different colors. 11-0 seed bead, 15-0 seed bead, optional magatama, that's just for decorating the button or for attaching, if you're using a two-hole button or if you're attaching the shank button, but you can use 11-0s there or anything else you like. Size 10 beading needle, this little stop bead using eight pound fire line. And I had a thought um, after I finished this is what if you took a Rivoli, bezeled it and used that as your clasp? Wouldn't that be pretty? So this is something we'll do in the future is use a Rivoli as a clasp. Um, so I thought that would be kind of cool. All right, so let's see what else. I think that's everything. So um, these supplies are from the Seaside Dreams collection, but you can use, of course, any beads you like. Don't forget to check the description box below the video for amounts, um, colors, links to, to beads, etc. Anything you need, anything I might have forgotten, any coupon codes, any discounts I have will be linked below. All right, so let's get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about five feet of thread, put on a stop bead, and leave about a 10 to 12 inch tail. So I'll use that tail to do a couple of rows of brick stitch at the end. So I've switched out my beads to, you know, to opaque beads because my camera just did not want to focus on the, that that sparkle in there, so that silver lining, I don't know, it's just having so much trouble. So I switched them out, see if that works better. So pick up two of your triangle beads, drop those down to your stop bead. I'm just gonna sew up through the first one. So we're gonna do a little ladder stitch right now. going to sit them right next to each other and then down the one I just put on. I'm going to pick up a triangle exiting here. I'm going to sew through the, the top of this one and then back up this one. I'm going to pick up another one sitting here. And then down this one. So just your sort of regular ladder stitch, only with triangles, like you're going to have some of the points are going to be sticking out, and then the flatter part is. So it's a little bit, um, it's not really tricky, it's just a little bit different. So if you see, you see the point is sticking through here. So I have one, two, three, four, five. You want to put eight beads on it. Don't worry about it. This is how it should look. Okay, this is what I have. So I have my eight beads on. And now I'm just going to reinforce by going back through all the beads. So exiting here, just going to sew through this one. And then this one. This one. And so on. And this is what I have. So if you're having trouble like seeing um, where the beads are because because of the way they're situated, you can always look through the top. Okay, so there you go. I have I've reinforced and I'm ready to move on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just flip my piece over this way. Just easy to sew in this direction. I'm going to pick up two of my triangle beads. I'm exiting this guy. Just going to sew through the next one. I'm 
and then up the next one. Do you see that one? You see where that one is? That's the point sticking out. Make sure you're you know, getting through the right bead. Like that. Pick up two. Down the next bead. Make sure that pops over. They're going to kind of bunch up a little bit, but they'll be good. And then up this one. Pick up two. Down this one. And I'm just doing everything in random colors. I'm not, you know, I'm just making sure that I'm not picking up a ton more of one color than the other. And then up this one. You know, so that I have, you know, a nice mixture going on. Okay, last two. Down this one. Make sure that pops over. This is what I have. I'm going to flip it this way. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. Exiting here, I'm going to sew through this one. I'm going to decorate the side there. So now I'm ready to put more beads on. Okay, let's move on. So we're going to do another row. So picking up two, exiting here, I'm going to sew through the next one. Make sure those pop over. They did nicely. And then up the next one. Picking up two triangles. Going down the next one. And up the next one. Two triangles. Down the next one. And up. The next one. Last two. This row down the end bead. That's what I have. I'm just going to turn it over and embellish the side by putting these two 11 O's right here, so exiting here. Okay, now we're going to do a little embellishing in the interior of the bracelet. So pick up two of your hang, um, triangle beads. Exiting here, I'm going to sew down through this one. Make sure that pops into place. Now I'm going to pick up an 11-0, and then I'm going to sew through the next bead. Two triangle beads. And the next one. Picking up an 11-0 and sewing through the next one. Two triangle beads. Down the next one. Picking up an 11-0. Through the next one. Two triangle beads. Down the last one. Flip it over, picking up two of my 11 O's, embellish the side and exit that triangle bead. So this is what I have so far. And this is, you're going to repeat this last row, you know, doing your triangles with the 11 O in between all the way down. So here's the piece that I'm working on. I haven't embellished the top yet and see they're all going to be in a line, but I mean, you could change that if you want. You can randomly put them in or do anything you like as far as um, design on this. But this is what you're going to keep repeating until you get just about the length of your bracelet. The only thing we're going to add on, of course, is we're going to add on the this little bit of brick stitch, the button, and then this little bit of brick stitch, and then the loop. So, you know, get pretty close to the end, measure it around your wrist, see how it's looking, and then um, come back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back and I'm going to do a mini bracelet. So you make sure your length is where you want it to be before adding your button or your clasp. So now what I want to do is I want to sew these beads together at the top so it looks like this. So exiting here, I'm just going to sew down through the next one and then back up 
the bead I was I started with. Then down this guy again, like that, and up this one. So we're just circling around to pull those beads together. So exiting here, right here, sewing through this one, back up through this one. And I'm kind of like pressing on them a little bit. Then down through this one. Up through this guy. Down through this one. Back up through this one. Okay, and you're just going to repeat that till you get to the end. Okay, coming down to the end, so I'm doing my last bead here. And then, I'm just going to turn it this way. I'm going to reinforce everything. So exiting here, I'm just going to go back up through this one. And then down through this one. And then back up through this one. Just like this. Just till I get to the end. Just to tighten it up. Okay, so I have both my ends are looking good. And I'm going to start brick stitching just a couple of rows at the end. So I'm going to use my 11 O's. You can use Delicas here too. I did Delicas on, I think, my sample bracelet. But I'll do the 11 O's here. So here, I'm exiting here. I'm going to pick up two of my 11 O's. Pulling super tight for this. And I'm going to use these thread bridges here in between the beads to put the beads on. So a little brick stitch. And if you need a primer on brick stitch, I'll, um, I'll link it in the description box below the video. So exiting here, I'm going to skip the first thread bridge. That's this guy right here. And I'm going to sew through the second one right there. And then back up through that second bead. Right here. So I have my first two brick stitch stitch my first two brick stitches on. So now I'm gonna put one bead in between each thread bridge. So here exiting this bead, here's my next thread bridge right here. You might have to hold it this way to see it. Like that. Again, here's my next thread bridge. Up. Again. Here's my next thread bridge. They're a little tight, but you'll get it in there. Like that. Again. Then I have one left. Going through the last thread bridge. And then up the bead, like so. You should have seven beads on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's exactly what you want. So get that done, come back, and we'll do the next row. Okay, we're back. So here's our first row. I'm just going to flip it this way, and I'm going to do my, my second row. So I'm going to pick up two of my 11 O's. So I'm accenting that end bead. I'm going to skip the first thread bridge and sew through the second one. Just pop those over and then up through that bead. I'm going to pick up, now I'm just going to pick up one and sew through every thread bridge. So here, the next thread bridge. So you're decreasing. Next one. There. I'll pop that one over. And here's our last one. And now we have our 
two rows of brick stitch on. So you're going to take your tail thread from the beginning, remember I said leave about a 12 inch tail, and do those two rows of brick stitch on this side, and then come back and we'll add the clasp. And after the clasp is done, then we're going to do the embellishment on the outside. Okay, so we're gonna put the button on. So I only have a shank button, so we're gonna do that. But for those of you who have this, this pretty um, shell button with the two holes, I'm just gonna like talk you through how I did this. So I took, so here, here's my, right here, these, there are my two rows of brick stitch. And so all I did, so I was exiting this one, is I picked up an 11 and I went through the hole. Just one 11 went through the hole. I added three Magatamas. I went through the hole, added one 11 right here, and then down this one and this one, I turned around and came up through the, the brick stitch, that top hole there, put on another 11 went through the hole, through the Magatamas, down through the hole again, picked up an 11 put one on here, went through here, and then you can just reinforce at this point, make sure it's nice and tight, go around, then go through the beads, tie a couple of half hitch knots, and you've got your two hole button on. So I hope you could see that. Let's put on the shank button. So I've already kind of situated it here. So exiting here, I'm gonna use the Magatamas here. Two Magatamas through the shank, make sure it's facing this direction. Two Magatamas through the 11 O's. So when I pull it, it's a nice, you make sure you pull it nice and tight so that the beads sit in between the the, the shank sits in between the beads, and then all you're going to do is just sew. You sew through this one, up this one, go across, and you know just reinforce it and make sure it's nice and snug, and then come back and we'll start on. Okay, now we're going to work on the loop. So for the for this button, I and we'll do it. I just want to give you a little preview. So I started at the top of the brick stitch and I added ten herringbone stitches right up. And then I ladder stitched on two bead ladder stitch, one, two, three, four, two bead ladder stitches. And then I went down so to connect here. So then I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to connect because you had the two from the ladder stitch. So I'm gonna to try to do that the same way for this button. Um, the only thing, because it's round and it might be a little, the fit in here might be a little tight, Maybe, maybe add an extra ladder stitch, two bead ladder stitch. Maybe we'll just try that and see how that goes. All right, so let's... Um, okay, let's add some herringbone. So I'm gonna pick up two, exiting here. I'm just going to sew down through the next one, the one underneath it, and that triangle bead underneath that one. So do you see? I'm, I want to sew this right into the bracelet, not just onto the brick stitch. So here's a herringbone stitch, and then I'm going to go up the triangle bead next to the one I'm exiting, and through these three, like that. And now it's secured to the actual bracelet. Pick up two, go down one, up two, Go two, your eleven O's, and one. Up two. Come here, you. There you are. Pick up two, down one. and you're just going to keep doing that until you have all 10 beads on this side and then once you have 10 on you're going to be exiting this side you just want to sew down here to set your thread up to put the the um, ladder stitch on but make sure you have 10 herringbone stitches first and then just sew down the top the bottom the, the two beads on the side here so you can add ladder stitch on Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, we're back. So I have my herringbone stitches on. So I have 10 on, not counting the brick stitch. 
Now I'm going to do a little ladder stitch across. So I'm going to pick up two, exiting here. I'm going to sew through these two, and then back up like that, picking up two, so through, and then down, picking up two, like so. And I think, what did I say? I did four. Let me check one more time. So that's one, two, three. Let's do it one more time. And we'll see if it fits this button. And then down. And now before you do herringbone down to here, reinforce all these guys and then come out here. Okay, so I've reinforced and by doing, you know, the way I did that is I, I don't think I showed you, is so I just, I was exiting, exiting here. I just went through all the beads again, and then back exit the same place. Okay, now I'm just going to flip it this way because it's easy to hold. I'm going to add some herringbone to the end. So I'm going to go picking up two. I'm going to go down those two. And up three. Just to get that connected. Now do a little herringbone. Down two. Down one. You can actually go down two here just to make sure it's connected. And then up three kind of reinforces it as you go along. You can do that any time in herringbone. So now I'm just going to start regular herringbone down one, up two, and you're just going to do that all the way down to the end. So down one, up two, so keep going and meet me at the end and we'll connect. Okay, now I'm going to connect. I have all my stitches on and I'm going to connect to the brick stitch on the bracelet. So I'm exiting right here. I'm going to go through the two end brick stitch, the, these two here, plus the, the triangle bead because I want to make sure it's connected to the bracelet, not just the brick stitch and back up through the next triangle and the, the brick stitch and then up the herringbone. And then what you're going to do is reinforce this. Make it nice and strong, reinforce. Um, you can end up sewing through these beads or through these beads. Tie some knots where you can. So make sure you have a nice, um, nice, tight clasp. Okay, the moment of truth. Is this going to fit? <laughs> Look how short I made this. I hope I can even clasp it. So here, this is all done. I reinforced it like crazy just to make sure it stayed nice and tight. So will this button fit through? Yes, it's perfect. So it works either way with the same amount of beads. So this is <laughs> your little, could we make this a ring? <laughs> okay, so that's how it's going to fit. Um, so don't go away because we have to do a little um, embellishing on the outside. So we'll go to our original bracelet and we'll get, we'll, we'll make our embellishment on the top and then we'll be done. Okay, we're back with our finished uh, piece and we're going to do a little embellishment like this. So all I did was use the center 11 O's, these lines of 11 O's to connect some 15 O's to give it kind of a, I don't know, I wanted it to kind of look like like some kind of sea plant <laughs> or such. So um, I'll get you started on this, but you can get really, really creative here and do an embellish any way you like. You can use, you don't have to use the 15 O's, you can use anything you like to embellish here, but we're gonna do this one. So thread your needle with about three and a half feet of thread, put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in. So I'm gonna start at one end. It doesn't really matter what end you start at. And I'm just going to sew through that center, 11 -0, right there. My stop bead is holding it in. 
And then I'm going to pick up a number of 15 O's. It just any random number, and I change the number each time I sew it on so that it looks kind of, you know, sort of seagrassy. And I'm just going to um, drop those down. And then I'm going to connect to the other side, so the 11 O's on this side. So when I hold it here, well, maybe I'll connect through this one. So you can choose whatever one you want to connect through, like that. So now I have one sort of you know, line of 15 O's on, and then I want to get to the other side. I want to get back to here so I can do this side. So all I'm going to do is sew through the beads to get back to, to the center. So I'm exiting this 11 O, I'm just going to sew through this triangle. And then up this triangle bead. and then through this 11 o. And then I'm going to put some more beads on. So, I mean, if you want, you can sew, you know, you can use these triangles to get anywhere. Let's say you wanted to put it here and not here. So you can just sew through until you get to one of the bead, one of the 11 o's on this uh, in the middle to where you can connect your next line of 15 o's. So let's say I'm going to take Let's see here, I've got four now. So exiting here, and I'm going to sew through. Well, actually, before I sew through, I'm just going to drop it down. And maybe I'll do five. And then I'm going to sew through these guys. I'm sewing this direction. So I'm going to sew like this. I can get my needle in there. Let's see if I got the right one. It's a little clumsy on camera. You, when you're doing this, you'll, it'll be much easier. So there, I've got another one on it, and I'm facing in the right direction. And also, what it does is when you put um, a longer length of 15 O's on, it's going to make them curve around a little bit. So here, let's go back through this one. So I'm going through the triangle bead. And then let's go through, I'll go through this triangle bead. I'm just taking the easy path right now, but you can really, you know, go any, you know, any direction here. And then I'll go through this 11 in the center. So working off the center. And let's put on, let's say, a longer length. So I'll put one, two, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say do ten of them. Let's see how that looks. So here I've got ten, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put this. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna actually. I'm not gonna pull it tight. I'm gonna put it. Let's see. I'm gonna try putting it a little bit. You know, so I'm gonna try put it in a bead so that it curves a little bit. So here. Okay, so see how I got a little curve out of that by putting it, not putting it like straight, you know, pulling it tight. I've kind of left it curved a little bit. All right, so then here I'm going to go through this one. This triangle bead. This triangle bead. And I'm going to pop through this 11 o like that. And then I'm going to do something on this side. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I have this kind of nice little design going. And like I said, you can do anything you like. You can make it, you can, you know, be very creative and get any kind of design going you like. But that's all you're going to do. You're just going to keep going back and forth. And then when you're done, it's going to kind of look like this. All right, so have fun. Um, Play with that and then come back and we'll finish up. Okay, I'm back and so I've got all my embellishment on and just what you want to do at the end here. So here's my last group there and I'm exiting this 11-0. Um, I'm just going to sew 
Just sew your thread in at this point. So so down through this one, through this one, you know, through the triangle beads, and so on. And then you want to sew your threads in and um, maybe do a couple of half hitch knots. So get that done and come back and we'll finish. Hey, okay, we're back and we're done. So here we go. That's what it looks like. I think it's so cute. I love that sea glass look of it. Makes me just want to go to the beach and look for sea glass. I did recently, but I didn't find any. Here's what it looks like with the button and that sort of rectangular loop. So I think it came out really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Okay, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.